when I announced that we were committed to paying the people actually creating the value of the company a decent fair wage, nothing special, but something that should be completely normal, they were kind of ridiculed along with me. They were called lazy and entitled. None of those things were true about our employees in the same way they're not true about really your typical American worker out there on average. It's just not the case. Our employees were interested in sharing things like the fact that 70% of them paid down debt, the fact that they were able to pay double and triple their savings rate, and the fact that they had a 10x boom in both babies born and new homes purchased amongst the company. Our employees were happy to share all those things. And, you know, we have now 60 babies born in six years versus before the, the wage increase, we had zero or maximum of two babies born every year. Growing up conservative Christian, where I was coming from was basically kind of assuming that the free markets would solve all of our problems. And then I started studying and I found that, you know what? Free markets didn't solve the 80 hour work week. Free markets didn't solve slavery. Free markets didn't solve indentured servitude and free markets didn't solve child labor. The way that they were defeated was through collective actions, by changing laws, and by having strong unions. I hate when people use it to say the system works and the free market solves everything. Because in fact, what I've proven is exactly the opposite. That it doesn't work because I've shown that you can literally pay people more money. You can pay them the, the right amount that they should make or at least closer to it. And the business will succeed because of it. As an Idaho kid, um, I didn't know a whole lot about business and entrepreneurship. I studied where I could, but um, what I did know about was helping people and sticking up to bullies. And there was this coffee shop and the owner, Heather Hempel, and basically, you know, she's in Idaho with her coffee shop and she's being raked over the coals by these huge coastal institutions. So the idea of taking those big, you know, coastal companies on and just sticking up for the little gal that was Heather Hempel, the owner of Moxie Java Caldwell, Idaho, that sounded like something that could keep me, you know, kind of smiling and heading in the right direction for the rest of my life.